Let's get 61% better at setting in just a couple minutes. Let's go. The first element of being a great setter, specifically in outdoors, is being straight up. At the point of setting, you want your body to be pretty straight. That way, the defender doesn't know where you're going, showing good deception, leaving all your options open. You also want to be really smooth with your hands, but we're using a lot of wrists, a lot of our wrists, not a lot of brick, really stiff fingers, unless you're throwing a high ball up. But if you're trying to get a quick ball going, which is what you're most likely gonna to wanna to do, you wanna be really smooth with your hands and really smooth in your takeaway. And that's gonna get a lot less rotations on the ball. It's gonna come out smooth. It's gonna be easier for the hitter to identify and overall be a lot better. Next tip is all about reversing the flow. This is something a little bit more advanced but this is a setting tactic that's gonna get you a lot of side outs pretty quickly. You can see in this example here, Matt does a great job of continuing to run his route even though I am past him. And I can see him in my peripheral that he's coming and I can see that the block is already kind of taking a look at Alexi over here coming on the outside. So with all that information, I know that if I can reverse this flow back to Matt, that he's gonna have a one-on-one -on -one or one-on-zero option. And we want those options all day long. So we're always gonna try and find those matchups. Here's another example, actually from the same game. Sometimes the ball is gonna bring you in a little bit from your starting point. Um, being able to reverse that ball back or reverse it forward if you're on the far side of the court is gonna give you options. Look at how much distance this blocker has to cover. That's at least 10 feet out to the pin. And if you can get this in good tempo to your attacker, it should be a side out almost all the time because it's gonna be pretty much an open net. So reversing that flow in tempo, right? If this is a high ball going back to Allen, it's gonna be just as easy for the blocker to get out there, even though it is a far distance. Reverse it in tempo on the net, easy side out. One more example here to Kuna, right? Ball bringing you to the center of the court. I feel like a lot of people here are gonna to wanna to make this outside set, but especially in quads when you're playing outdoors, I love to get my right side involved because I feel like the nat the blocker's naturally taking that first step to the right, right? Watch Matt here, his feet go a little right. It's gonna free you up, give you a chance to put that ball away. All right, next tip we're gonna bring up is ball placement and finding windows for your hitters. Here's what I mean by this. Another same set where I was really connecting with Matt well. He passes me a ball where I take probably three steps back, but I know I wanna set him the ball because this is a really far set out to the pin when you're backpedaling. So I knew I wanted to go to the middle and I could sense their blocker kind of in the center of the court. So I wanted to put the ball six feet right of this blocker. That gives Matt a window of opportunity. Even though a blocker's up, it's almost as if he's not there to put the ball away and he does that. So we're always trying to find this window where we can set the ball past the blocker or around the blocker and give our attacker a little bit better chance to put that ball down. Here's another example of that. A little bit more of a high ball here because this was a really high free ball pass and somewhat of a far close for Allen. A lot of people get this set. They don't know what to do. Whenever I get a ball behind me into that zone one, as the setter, I'm typically going straight up to this right side, but not hugging the line. You wanna give them enough room here to come back, hit line, because that's gonna be their best shot. You see Daniel here really finds that window and it's basically like a no block. If you can find those, the channels to hit the ball, it's gonna be great for siding out. So number three, find those windows, put, put the ball in a really good place for your attackers. And this is especially important for middle sets. Last tip I have is about creativity. The only way you're gonna get better at setting is by actually setting, setting the ball. Continuing to use your hands, putting yourself in difficult situations, and trying to make a good set out of it. You can see here, here's a ball where I'm coming down from my block attempt on a slippery court, right? Alexi's out of the play, I can see that. Allen's not really taking a full approach from behind me. So I know my only real option here is to go back to Matt on a really short approach. So I'm gonna put somewhat of a like quicker two ball backwards over my shoulder almost, right? Not a true back ball, but this is just a scramble play and it ends up working out in our favor. But there's gonna come times where 
you don't have all three options, but we want to focus on getting our hands on the ball as much as possible. When we can get our hands there, we can get our feet first, get our hands on the ball and make a set, make a play out of it. You never know what can happen. Those are my four tips. If you implement all of these things, staying smooth, staying straight up, reversing the flow, being deceptive out there, finding ways to go back and forth, forward, maybe when you're really far away, backward, maybe when you're in your tough spot, finding those windows for your hitters, giving them a chance to hit, and being creative, I promise you, you will see improvements to your setting game, and like everything, if you keep going at it, keep practicing, you will continue to get better. That's all I got for you today. If you're looking for more tips, hit me in the comments, nothing else. See y'all next time. Peace.